just when we all thought the feud between Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber was over. After Selena jumped online and came to Hailey's defense, it turns out there's even more tea. And it's hot. Sources suggest that maybe it wasn't Hailey that reached out to Selena and asked for help, but Justin. But why would Justin Bieber contact his ex in defense of his wife? We've got all the juicy details and gossip, so stick around. An insider has blown the whistle saying that it was Justin that reached out to Selena, not Haley, and that he begged Gomez to stick up for Haley and plead with the Selenators to stop harassing Haley. Right before this story dropped, Haley shared this mental health update on her Instagram. I like to make jokes about how I feel because sometimes it's easier than admitting I'm having a hard time. But truthfully, since 2023 started, I have had some of the saddest, hardest moments I've ever had in my adult life, and my mind and emotions have been fragile to say the least. And I know so many people feel the way I feel, so just know you're not alone. In case you missed it, at the beginning of the year, Selena Gomez got fat shamed for some pictures she took of herself in a bathing suit on vacation in Mexico. Then on January 7th, Hailey Bieber made a TikTok video with Kylie Jenner and another friend where she mouthed the words, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. Now, of course, they denied that the video was about Gomez. Someone told Selena about the video a month after the fact. And taking the high road, she said, It's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. Shortly after that, a video popped up of Haley throwing some shade at Selena's bestie, Taylor Swift. Selena was quick to defend Taylor, saying, So sorry my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Then Selena made a video saying that she'd accidentally over-laminated her eyebrows, which is seemingly no big deal. Just her poking fun at herself, right? This is me. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Kylie Jenner went on to make two Instagram stories featuring eyebrows. The first one had the words, this was an accident over her eyebrows. The other was a screenshot of a video call with Hailey Bieber zoomed in on her eyebrows. Of course, Selenators made the connection between Selena's eyebrow post and Kylie and Hailey's, and they were quick to call them out for bullying. Kylie said, this is reaching. No shade towards Selena ever, and I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. To which Selena replied, Agreed, Kylie Jenner. It's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie. Then Selena made an announcement that she was taking a break from social media, but it wasn't clear about why, which led people to assume it was because of all the bullying, harassment, and drama. And that's definitely a good enough reason to take a break, if you ask us. She said, And yeah, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's this is a little silly. And I'm 30, I'm too old for this, so. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm so blessed. I have the best friends, the best fans in the whole world. And I just couldn't be happier. And I will see you guys um, sooner than later. I just, I'm gonna just take a break from everything. And then a tidal wave of hate was thrown at Hailey Bieber. It reached such a level that around a month ago, Selena wrote, Hailey Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. Now you should be caught up and you can see why tongues are wagging, right? That post says that Hailey was the one that reached out to her. But insiders say it was Hailey's husband, Justin. One of the weirdest things about this whole scenario for a lot of people is the fact that Haley has been verbally dragged through the mud all over social media. And everything about Justin and Haley's marriage has been called into question. But Justin hasn't said a word about it and hasn't made a move to defend her once. Why didn't he stand up for Haley rather than ask Selena to? The source said, Selena has no love for Haley, but she still cares about Justin who privately begged her to get folks to believe they've all made peace. It's not only for Haley's sake, but for him. Because of this, people are questioning whether Haley is in a toxic marriage. Well, not just this. He's frequently really passive aggressive with her, like this. Is, you know, like, it sucks that the tour was- You just answered my, she was asking me. 
Huh? Then there's the way they talked about getting married. They got married a little under two months after rekindling their relationship, so you'd think they'd be talking about each other like they could do no wrong and still be on cloud nine. But just six months in, Haley told Vogue, The thing is, marriage is hard. That is the sentence you should lead with. It's really effing hard. She then disclosed that they were using a marriage counselor at only six months into the marriage. She even almost gave up at one point. And I remember I called her a few different times. One particular time when we were in Brooklyn and I was calling her, I was like crying and I was like, I just can't do it. Like there is no way that I'm going to be able to do this if it's gonna be like this forever. forever. So why wouldn't Justin defend Haley from all of the online backlash and harassment that she's been dealing with instead of asking Selena to do it? It's possible that he doesn't want to cause more drama or that he thinks it could just make things worse. But it could also be that he's concerned about his music career. The insider who blew the whistle that Justin reached out to Selena said, Justin is concerned he and Haley have become the most unpopular couple in Hollywood and is terrified that when and if he's able to come back, his fans won't be there anymore. But there may be another reason that rather than defending Haley himself, Justin reached out to Selena. It's possible that Justin still has feelings for Selena. Justin's sister and mom have come out in support of Selena, and both have said that they favored her over Haley. Here's Bieber's mom, Patty, talking about her. I love Selena. She's a sweetheart. What you see is, is how she is. It turns out that Selena made a really big impact on the Bieber clan. She was always with them, and she'd especially bonded with his sister, Jasmine. That close bond doesn't seem to have been replicated with Haley. In fact, when Justin announced his engagement to Haley, Patty removed the portion of her Twitter bio proudly declaring that she was Justin Bieber's mom. That sort of tension between his family and his wife undoubtedly puts extra strain on the relationship. But it's not likely that Selena feels the same way. In an interview with NPR, she said this. It's dangerous to stay in um, a victim mentality. And I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. And then went on to specify that it was emotional abuse. French gossip outlet Dumois has reported that Justin was calling Selena and telling her he loved her right up until the same week he made it official that he was dating Haley. And supposedly the reason Selena rejected his marriage proposal and broke up with him was because he started talking to Haley in May 2018 while he was with Selena. So it would likely take some major convincing to get Selena to warm back up Justin at this point. Plus, there's her budding relationship with Zayn Malik, formerly of One Direction. And insiders say that Selena and Justin are having a ton of fun together and are enjoying their time with each other. What do you think about Justin reaching out to Selena to defend Haley instead of doing it himself? Who do you really think contacted Selena? Haley or Justin? Let us know down in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video.